David Fudge. I'm from Sun City West, Arizona. Tom Sharp, and I'm from <coughs> Oakland, California. My name is Lita Dukeshire, and I am from Yarmouth, Nova Scotia, Canada. Uh, my name is Raja Ringovaje, and I'm from Dominican Republic. My name is David, and I'm from Sydney, Australia. I'm retired, but I was a biomedical engineer designing medical equipment. I was working for a pharmaceutical company. I'm a commission sales rep in the uh, tire industry, selling tires. I work for the uh, U.S. Border Patrol, and uh, I still am employed there. I've got about three years before I retire. I practiced dentistry for 47 years. And day trading is something I want to learn how to do. And I haven't found a good mentor or a good training program to kind of help me on the way. So when I found uh, CTU, I thought this is definitely the place I wanted to jump in on. The chat room is just incredible. The support that you get from other team members that help you to identify stocks that may be moving or that are really looking good for trades. There's a lot of the, uh, the people that I've met here, uh, the instructors and you know, the other students too. Fausto and the team really took a, took their time with me. They put their money where their mouth is. They get the results. You know, you can actually see them make the actual trades instead of just teaching theory and, and you know, leaving it to you to work out in the real world. It's a very well organized program. It's um, logically oriented for me. And being in the chat room, there are a lot of good people, and I've gotten to know a few online and then here I've gotten to know several more. But I think I just saw Fausto on a webinar uh, somewhere one day and I was impressed and so I decided to check it out. Here you are. Experience with Fausto. <laughs> <laughs> Fausto has been really helpful, really nice um, and I think the team he has around him makes it, you know, really, really easy. That I realized how much he really cares about his students learning. It wasn't something like that he's just trying to get to a part of his team. It's much deeper than that. An amazing guy. Um, met him on, uh, I remember uh, hearing his first video, his first live video, and uh, he has a lot of charisma, uh, and he's genuine how he sounds online. And I, I feel that he has a genuine interest in people and, and a sincere desire to see us grow and prosper. Now that I met him, see that the humble he is, you know, I see him as a very great man and mentor to follow into this field. At CyberTrade University, one of the biggest things that really always concerned me is I was you over 20 years ago. And what I needed more than anything was support. I need to learn and I need someone to hold my hand. Well, one of the big things we're very big on is we're very big on support and all the staff at CyberTree University is very, very well educated and trained how to trade the market. So when you call us, you're going to be talking to a education advisor or an instructor and you're going to see how much we really care about your trading. A lot of people you know, really don't look at you not only as a student, but we look at you as a family member because trading is a family. Or I certainly feel like I'm included as part of a family, if you will. Right? It's just a family feeling. They're taking care of you. We will always be there. We were one of the very first people who pioneered webinar technology when it first came out in the late 90s. When you log into our website, you're going to see that we have courses, recordings. We have it going through step one, step two, step three, from beginners to advanced students. And you could come back and take the class as many times you want for free. 70% of our training courses are live and we train you live in the market. So you're not just reading out of a textbook. It's like a different adventure. It's just a different course because different movements in the market, different situations happen all the time, but it's the same game. And that's what teaches you how to trade in today's volatility at Cybertrain University. City, the site of the International Traders Expo. Um, and I like to show people when I start trading live because it gets them to feel the look and feel of what it's like to be in that race. In the competition, our camera focuses on Puglisi, who, despite all the options available to modern day traders, is concentrating on common traditional stocks. 
I have. I already did two trades already. The session starts with Fausto fishing for active stocks. Soon, it will be the last half hour of the market day in New York, almost always the most active part of a short-term trader's day. I'm scanning through my top 20 list. I, I, my top 20 list is all percentage gainers and losers. I'm trying to find a stock that has some good volatility. Um, I'm trying to find some stocks. I mean, I don't care what they do. I don't, I don't care if they're going bankrupt or whatever. Fausto finds his first big move, United Airlines. He buys, and it dips. He sells. And it dips even lower. You got to know where those dominated brokerage firms are. You got to know where they're buying it. You need to know where they're selling it. You need to know who the big boy in that stock is. A lot of people think it's just as easy as just you know, let me just trade a brand name stock, and you know, because it's you know, Intel or Google, you know, and that's something that you don't want to do. All right, guys, uh, let me get a little chat back. If you guys can hear loud and clear, just give me a chat back. All right, good, 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 good. Well, welcome, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Fausto Puglisi. I'm the founder of Cybertrain University, and today we're going to I'm going to teach you how to successfully day trade for a living. Now, I know a lot of you guys are here and have been listening to probably webinars in the past, and you know, probably even taken some training courses in the past. Well, let me tell you this right now: I am not here to sell you. I'm not here to sell you anything. Okay, I'm not here to give away free TVs, free computers. Uh, free cars, free, free. If you're looking for something for free, you're in the wrong room. What I'm looking for is people that want to learn for a living and want to be able to buy their own car, their own computer. So I'm going to teach you the art of trading. Now, I'm, I'm going to bring up my PowerPoint. I want to just tell you a little bit about Cybertrain University, who we are, what I do, and then I'm going to get right into it showing you how almost every single one of you here are trading and making things more complicated than what it really is. Now, let me just bring up my PowerPoint here. Just give me a second. There we go. All right, perfect. So uh, does everyone see the PowerPoint? Everybody see the PowerPoint? Okay, we have Eric um, and Rich. We, we, have, we have instructors and, and advisors logged in here to kind of help answer anyone has any questions. So I know we only have an hour. So I'm going to try to answer it. I know some of you are like on your lunch break and stuff like that. So I'm going to try to get through this right to the point. now. Just really quick, uh, tell you about Cybertrain University. Um, I've actually been training people for over 25 years. I'm actually uh, probably the longest educational school in the industry. Now, how many times have you ever heard someone actually say that? I've been through every single crash uh, from 95 to 2000, 2008, and you know, and and I'm, I'm here today. And we do education for some of the biggest and best brokerage firms in the industry, more than any school in the industry. Now, why is that? Because what I'm about to teach you is what, how trading works every day in uh, you know, learning from the best traders on Wall Street. Because when I started, I was you 25 years ago. I lived, I lived here in New York. I was trained by the best traders in the world. And let me just tell you this, guys. I was a huge failure, okay? And I'll tell you why I failed. Because I was that ignorant 22-year-old kid that was self-taught and basically tried to do it on his own, you know. And uh, and you could see that a lot of us are probably a lot wiser than in, in a typical 22-year-old. Nothing against being young. It's just uh, I, I just didn't want to spend any money. So eventually seeing and being surrounded by traders, I finally said, you know what? Maybe I'll take a job as a trader. I didn't want to do it. Probably for the same reason why people don't spend money on education. I didn't want to split the profits. I said, let me try it out, see if it works out. If I do well, then I'll go out there and you know, then I'll go spend some money. So anyway, uh, let me tell you what I learned on the first day on the job. What you're about to see right today, I, I, it was the same exact thing I was taught. And I says, you know what? I should have never made my first trade. What I'm about to show you is going to be very disturbing. You're going to see that. You could actually see where all the orders are. I'm going to teach you about level three quotes. I'm going to talk about time and sales. I'm going to talk about, you know, um, uh, you know, pre-market trading, after-market trading, how these stocks gap up and gap down. Who's doing it? Why is the market down 340 points? Who's making that happen? Listen, it's not that complicated, guys. It's real realistically, you're making it more complicated than what it is. Now, let me just tell you 
how Cybertrain University was born, because this is what's going to make you want to be part of our team. Um, I founded the company back in 1995, and let me tell you how this came to fruition. The only way that I could succeed as a great trader is I have to teach people how to trade like me. And that's what my mentors taught me, and that's what I learned by being a prop trader. So I went out there, I started Cybertrain University, and I started the original online trading room. Now you're seeing hundreds of them open up all over the place. Well, I started the first one, and you're going to be all invited at the end of this presentation to see what it's like to be in the original trading room. And not only that, not to see Fausto Puglisi, how great of a trader and being a 12-time world champion, that doesn't make you money. You want to see if the other traders are making money. You want to see if they're making good call outs. You want to see if they know what, what's going up and going down. And that's what all of you guys are going to witness. But to do that, so I'm not wasting your time, let me just tell you what we're going to learn really quick. I'm going to tell you basically what is day trading, okay? And I'm going to also going to talk about how you can make a living day trading. The biggest thing a lot of people need to learn is why people fail. You know, trading has such a bad word to it. You know, like I was down in Florida last week and um, I did a big presentation for TradeStation. For some of you here, you know, TradeStation, they're, one of the, they're the leading direct access firm in the industry. And uh, they come, they, they invite me to come down. They fly me down to, to do presentations um, at their headquarters. And uh, I went out to dinner with some of their staff and, and there was a guy at the other side of the bar uh, listening. We were having a cocktail before we had dinner and this guy was sitting there. He's like, you know, what do you guys do for a living? And I'm like, I'm, I'm a day trader. And you know what he told me? He's like, do people actually make money doing that? He's like, of course they do. He's like, do you make money doing that? I'm like, and right away, I know where he was going with this. And I'm like, let me ask you a question. So let me ask you a question because you already asked me three questions. Did you did you try to day trade and lose all your money? He goes, what made, why are you saying that? He was being very defensive because I my question is, who trained you? Oh, well, some, I tried it out, didn't work out, and it said, exactly. And that's why you're here and not the 25 million people that trade every day because everybody wants to try it. They just don't want to take the time to learn it from true professionals, and that's what we're going to focus on. And the biggest thing that you're going to learn is that a lot of you guys are not even using the right tools, which starts with level three. So what I'm going to do after I educate you guys a little bit about what is day trading and how it works, I'm going to invite all of you guys to come in and get to meet people just like you and see if actually people actually really do make money doing this. And that is going to be the real answer to let you know if this is for you to move forward versus not. Well, thank you very much, John. I appreciate it. So I got a question for everyone. So let me just do a little pop quiz, right? Not quiz, really. It's a questionnaire. Um, can everyone just tell me? I just, I'm just curious. What kind of trader is uh, is everybody here? Are you a stock trader, an options trader, futures, forex? You can just put that in the chat. Just want to get to know a little bit about what is everyone here, um, so I get an idea who we um, kind of audience that we have. All right, so we have a lot of options traders, okay? Stocks is like coming in second. All right, good, good. A couple of futures, a couple of investors, perfect. All right, well, let me tell you um, a little bit about myself. I like to day trade, and I'll tell you why. Day trading is actually the least risky out of all trading. And don't believe me, you'll see it, you know, when you come into the trading room. Day trading, let me tell you how it works. You're in and out the same day. You just make your day's pay. You don't have to worry about what happens overnight. You don't have to sit there on your phone all day and try to figure out what's my stock doing. Oh, what's my options doing? And I see we have a lot of options traders out there. And, um, you know, listen, options are great, but <laughs> do you know that 10 times harder to trade than just buying the stock? And you know why a lot of people trade options? Because they feel they can't afford the stock. Well, that's a misconception. Listen. How do you know what options moving if you don't even know what the stock is doing? So, you know, listen, I like options, but I would never do that as my first trade. My first trade is the stock, buying it, day trading it. If I like the stock, then I'll consider swing trading it. 
If I feel I don't want to tie into buying power because I got to need my day trading and swing trading, then I'll do an options trade. Um, and by the way, futures and Forex for everyone out there. Listen, um, I'm, I'm not a futures and Forex guy. I never pretend to be one. But if you are interested, you're more than happy to email me. And I'll, there's only about two, three people I really recommend that are very, very good at that. All right. So we'll cover that. Now, uh, let me just go back to our chat. Um, Phil says, why they 10 times harder? Well, first of all, there's when you're trading the stock, you're just buying it and selling it. And the spread is cheaper. You got a very tight spread where options get a lot bigger spreads. You're dealing with a commission. You got time, commission, and spread. When you deal with the stock, you're eliminating uh, almost all of that. The commissions are cheaper. The spread is tighter. And you're not being forced. That's the reason why. And, and there's so many ways of trading an option. So I'm not here to, to kind of defend or bash an option or a swing trade, guys. I'm here to kind of show you that, to try to prove to you, why do people feel that you can't make money trading stocks? You know, because they're not looking at the right stocks to trade. Okay, remember, why are you here? Just remember this very important. Why are you here? Why are you trading the market? Because you want to make money. You want to have more freedom. You don't want to go back to work. For some of us on Social Security, we know it's not paying enough. Maybe we get older, our medical bills get higher. We got to make supplemental income. Um, and you know for a fact that there's no job out there that's going to pay you better than trading the market. And you know you don't want to give all that money you work so hard for, your IRA, and give it to some hotshot mutual fund that's only going to show you 5%, 10% a year. Because when you come in our trading room, you'll see people making 5%, 10% a day. And don't believe me. You'll see the fact when you come in there. But let's get right into the rule of coming to trading. Um, you know, listen, you see a stock like GEM, okay, GME, I'm sorry. You know, GameStop got destroyed. Stock went from 25 down to 11. You know, there are a lot of stocks that got really beat up, uh, which was another big one. EA Sports, another one. Um, SLDB, a really big pharmaceutical stock. Yesterday was what, $24? It opened up this morning at six. You know, so that is where day trading um, becomes an advantage. And you could actually benefit from catastrophes like this. So, what is day trading? Let's just talk about that and then I'll get right into the uh, trading. Do I have free access to level three? Okay, Tamer, like I told you, and this goes for everyone here. Do you work for free? Does anyone work for free? Okay. The only thing is free is the cheese and the mousetrap. If you're looking for free stuff, you're in the wrong trading room. There's about, I could tell you a couple of different schools you can go to, but how good could it possibly be? When I got into level three, I used to pay $2,000 a month for it. Okay. Now it costs $15. You can't afford $15. You can't afford to day trade. Okay. So let me just tell you what day trading is. And then we'll get into talking about the value of it. Because you know what? $15 could be a waste of money too, right? You know, $7 could be a waste of money. But we'll, we'll get, we're going to get into that. Now, what is day trading? Day trading is basically profiting from everyday momentum and volatility in the stock market. You're basically just looking for stocks that are moving in the market. And you're kind of just working off that momentum. Because we don't really care what we trade. We just want to make money. That's what trading is all about. And we're basically in and out the same day. We're not holding positions overnight. And most traders were just trying to make a day's pay. Do you know if you really think about this? If you make $500 a day, that's basically 50 cents on a thousand shares. Two trades at 25 cents. You make 500 a day, there's your six figure salary. Most average day traders make about a thousand a day. That's usually the average. But even $200 a day making 20 cents. Could still be a very nice little uh, little living at the end of the year, but that's what day trading is about. It's not saying what you know what, what Tesla is doing today, or saying oh Ferrari's down today, or you know oh Amazon ooh it's down forty points. Well, what do I do? You know, do we, is that going to affect the market? It's about which one's going to give me the least amount of risk with the high amount of reward. Now, how to become a very successful trader? Okay, a day trader in, in general. Well, first of all, you got to have the right brokerage account. Okay, now I'm not a broker. I'm not here to sell brokerage services, but let me, I'm just telling you the facts first, and then you guys can go from there. You got to have the right brokerage account, 
and it's got to be a direct access broker. The differences between direct access and online brokers, one is an online, uh, one's like dealing with public transportation, one's like driving your own car. Direct access is like driving your own car. Is it cheap to drive your own car? Well, it's definitely a lot cheaper public transportation, but you know you can't run a family running public transportation. You got to have your own car. So one of you asked me, what does it cost? Listen, everything costs money, but it's not as much as you think. You got to have the right trading setup. A lot of us have a platform. We don't know how to trade, you know, and one of the things that we teach you at Cybertrain University, you got to be careful with these platforms. They, they want to sell you like, oh, my does this. It does that. It's got seekers. It's got it's got green lights. It's got red lights. It's got yellow. It's got, you know, tickers. Listen, 80, 90 percent what they offer you is window dressing. You don't need it. Don't worry about that because we'll give you a decent setup no matter who your brokerage firm is. You basically, another big thing, like we told you about trading, you've got to risk less with time reward. And actually, you know, day traders, we only even trade all day. Actually, like today, I was talking to a student. I was done at 10 o'clock this morning. We had this one stock that had a big move. I'll even, you know, you can actually look it up. Uh, what was it? Uh, SL, SLDB. It was a great, nice little stock. It went from, you know, it was a stock that was down 75% and it was a bottom fish. Went from six to eight. You know, hey, you make half that move, you did pretty well for yourself. A lot better than trading Amazon at, you know, what is it trading at? 1600 I trade $6 the stock all day long. Now, <clears throat> most of our trades are done in pre-market. Now, um, like I told you, I was down in Florida um, doing a presentation for TradeStation. And um, you can't believe how many people don't even know what pre-market is. They didn't even know they had access to it. I'm like, do you know that's where we make most of our money in pre-market? That's the beauty of trading. And, and how do we find them? It's all working off the big percentage gainers and losers. We find what's moving in the market and we just trade those, you know, those stocks. Now, for some of us, which I'll talk about when we move on, some would be like, well, how do you know to trade this one? How do you know this is going up? How do you know it's going down? How do you know one's not got a big risk factor? That's the easy part. But you know, and you know what the easy part is? You know how you're going to figure that out? By surrounding yourself with good traders. And that's why you'll notice in today's markets, a lot of the schools that you'll see running around, a lot of them are our students and our instructors. So, but if you really want to know what the original part of it, that's what we're going to cover. Now, why do most traders fail? First of all, they mix day trading, swing trading, and options trading. First of all, you can't mix when it comes to trading. Okay, this is not. You know, this is like alcohol. You know, you know what happens when you mix, okay? You know, you know what happens when you mix different foods. You get sick. That's why people fail. They don't know how to take losses. Another thing, they read too many books. You know, listen, I have a book out there, and and Wiley, the one of the biggest published companies uh, in the world, they they begged me, says Fausto, could you could you write a book for us? We really don't have a day trading book. Last one was the Assos Bandits from Harvey Halkin. We know you're the Godfather of Wall Street. You're one of the last Mohegans. Could you do it? It took me like ten years before I decided to do it. Am I here selling a book? No, I don't care if you buy my book. It's a great book, and that's because it's mine. But that doesn't make you money. It doesn't make you money. So everybody wants to read a book. Okay, guess what? You can learn more risking $50 in a stock than buying a $50 book. Now, another thing, everybody's looking for cheap tickets. Like, listen, I'm not trying to pick on the gentleman that says, you know, is it free level three? Listen, if you're looking for free stuff, you're in the wrong business. A lot of brokerage firms are going to offer you cheaper tickets, this and that. It's not about, you don't want cheap, you want a good deal. It's a big difference when it comes to trading. Another thing, trading by yourself. That's where other people make a lot of mistakes. You can't do this by yourself. You have to bounce ideas back and forth with other successful traders. It's like, it's like in any business. Why does everybody want to work for some of the biggest companies? Oh, I would love to be a trader at Goldman Sachs. Yeah, go try to go get a job there unless you know somebody and you feel the top of your class. Another thing, not trading with successful trading groups like I just mentioned. Uh, what's the other one? Don't know how to take losses. And I'll be honest with you, that's like the biggest thing we teach you here. We teach you how to take a loss. How many of you guys have a stock and you're like, damn it, I wish I knew how to just, why didn't I hit the button? Why didn't I get out of that trade? You know, that's where we come in, you know, teaching you how to journal.
how to manage and making sure when enough's enough. You got to learn to be on top of that. You know, trading takes takes time and patience. Listen, I can't teach you how to trade in an hour. I could just get you, you know, just enough to be dangerous, <laughs> I'll be honest with you. But when you come in our trading room, you'll see what we're talking about. And by the way, another big thing is this. You got to get the right mentor. Listen, you might not like the way I look. You might not like the way I sound. But that doesn't help you. To be, that doesn't mean that I'm not a great trader and a good mentor. Every one of you need to learn, not from one, but from several different mentors. It's just like going to school. Elementary, you had one teacher. But when you got to college, middle school, you had multiple teachers for multiple classes. It's the same thing. But thinking that you're going to go out there and try to do this on your own, you let me know what you're doing. I'll always do the opposite. And that's why brokerage firms love and give you these great deals because I don't know if you know this, they're actually trading against you. Now, what is a cyber trading strategy? Let's get right into it, okay? But before we do that, does anyone have any questions regarding about why people lose money, what is day trading, or anything about CTU before we start getting into the strategy? Just give me a chat back and just say yes or no, 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 no. There's over close to 200 people here. I just want to make sure that, you know, I'm not uh, boring you or you're floating into la-la land or whatever it is. All right, good. No, no, no. What about you, John? What about you, Mike, Bill, Fran? I'm watching you. Listen, you want to be a good trader, you got to speak. <laughs> Don't be shy. No one is going to embarrass you other than you hurting yourself by not knowing how to react. It's one of the biggest requirements to be part of the team of Cybertrain University. All right, good. So the big thing that we teach you here at Cybertrain University is how to follow the dominating brokerage firm. Now you're looking at a photo of the New York Stock Exchange right there, and you'll notice in that photo, you're not seeing any indicators, you're not seeing you know, all these fancy six monitors, you got a guy that's got a laptop and he's looking at the screen. And what do you think he's doing? He's following the money. Okay. That's what he's doing. How do I know what they're doing? Because I was very, I was one of those guys. I was down there. I was, I was a, I was a, a market maker. I was one of the original Souls bandits and day traders. And let me tell you, when I went down there and I'm looking at, and I was looking at what these guys are doing, I'm like, why was I always taught to do something totally different? And that's the question is, who really trained you? And you all know that a lot of us can't get down there unless you had a job. Actually, we actually had a cocktail reception there not too long ago. Um, you know, and you could see the New York Stock Exchange pretty much, you know, it's dying. It's a dying breed because everything's electronic. You're pretty much going to be able to have weddings and bar mitzvahs there soon. But uh, about three years ago, we had a cocktail reception. My students loved it. Cost me a fortune, but money's no object when it comes when we're all making a lot of money together. But I wanted you guys to experience my traders to know what it's like to see how real traders work in that environment. But the thing is this, how did things go up and go down? Supply and demand, okay? Who controls supply and demand? The guy who trades the most shares, who are those people? The dominating brokerage firms. Now, how do we follow the smart money? Because that's basically what it comes down to. Listen. Don't take this the wrong way. My mentors told me something very valuable. They said, Fausto, once you think you know something about the stock market, you're going to lose. And I'm like, what do you mean I'm going to lose? I mean, I'm not a dummy. I'm like, listen, it doesn't matter what's in Fausto's head, okay? It matters who the guy with the 100,000, a 300,000 share buyer, how is he working in order? Your 1,000 shares are not going to change the market. Just follow the big boy. That's all you have to do. And I said, great. That makes perfect sense. So what was I doing wrong in the beginning? You know what I was doing wrong? Being cheap. Because I didn't want to split the profits and work for somebody and commute back and forth to the city. And I also didn't want to go out there and spend money on technology. So what ended up happening? I went through a couple of hundred thousand dollars. Learned the hard way. My dad was very upset with me. He gave me one more chance. And that one chance was getting a job as a professional trader. And don't worry, I did pay his money back. <laughs> All right. So how do we follow uh, this volatility in the market? 
that is what we need to cover right now. So let's get right into the different technologies of getting a quote on a stock. Now, there are three different quotes, if you'll notice. There is a level one version, a level two, and a level three. Now, let me just do a little quick uh, poll right here. Now, does anyone here have level three quotes? Just out of curiosity, just fill out the um, Q&A. If you don't know the answer, just say, I'm not sure. Yes, no. And by the way, if you're a student of CTU, please do me a favor. Don't, don't say yes. It would be prior CTU, okay? All right, so as you guys are filling this out, uh, it seems like we got, obviously, a lot of people don't have it, and I think that's why a lot of people are here, but uh, surprisingly, we do got a lot of people saying yes, which is great. All right, so it's about right. 70%, 69%, 15% are not sure. I'll take that as a no. All right, I'll just take that as a no. So we're talking about 85% of you do not have level three quotes. Now, let me just remind you, trading is about an 80% failure rate. How many of you guys want to be part of that 80%? Nobody wants to be part of that 80%. You want to be on the 20% side. Well, this is where things are going to start open up your eyes and start becoming very disturbing. Um, and once again, always remember and ask yourself this question. Who really trained you? And number two, who was that person? Who is endorsing him? You know, where did he learn how to trade? Is it because he came up with his own philosophy? Or did he actually work for a market maker, a brokerage firm? Because obviously, if he did, he would have learned from the best. Because not everybody's style will work for you. So I'm teaching you how Wall Street trades. So let's talk about the different levels, all right? Now, there is level one, level two, and level three. Now, level one, basically what that is, is basically you're just getting a quote. So if I ask you where AMD's trading, all right? Oh, it's trading at 2134, okay? So, okay, great. You got a quote. You know, all right, great. You got a quote. So, all right, but how does that help you? Okay, so I know where it's trading at. That's fine. That's great. Who's buying it? Who's selling it? Why is it going up? Why is it going down? You think I really care about the market cap? You think I care about the P ratio? You think I care about the earnings coming out? No, I want to buy a stock. I like AMD. Where's the training at? And how do you know it's going to go higher? Oh, it's got an uptick arrow. Okay, big deal. How does that make you money? So level one, how much does it cost? It's free, okay? And once again, that's all it's worth. Now, this came out back in the 90s. It's called level two. I know, does anyone here have level two? And if you do, how much are you paying for it? Who has level two here? Every brokerage firm is offering level two, right? How much they charge you? Yeah, it's exactly. It's, worth, it's free. And that's what it's worth, okay? Level two has out, been, been outdated since the 90s. Um, I'll just tell you very briefly what it is. You got the buyers on the left. You got the sellers on the right. That's the bid. That's the ask. It's got an ID, which is showing you a four-letter abbreviation of the brokerage firm. And then it has a size, which is telling you how many shares they want to buy and sell. Okay? And that's basically the same thing on the ask. Who wants to buy it, what they want to sell it for, and how many shares. Now, the way it works is whoever wants to buy it for the most amount of money is up on top. Whoever wants to buy it for less money is down at the bottom. So hopefully now that explains to you what level two is. The problem with level two is it doesn't give you all the data. It's just telling you who's buying it and selling it at their best price. It's not telling you all the buyers and sellers. It's not telling you, oh, yeah, I'm a buyer of 100 shares at 2120, but it's not telling you I'm really a, a 50,000 share buyer at 21, and you're not going to see that level two. So that's where level three came in. Now, level three, um, just to let you know, I am actually was one of the developers who came out with level three. If any of you guys know what uh, ECNs are, Electronic Communication Network, I was actually one of the developers for NASDAQ that helped come to fruition. Now, I'm not, I want to give you a whole, you know, uh, uh, you know, history lesson on what is a ECN and how it worked. But um, just to let you know, if you read any of the old books, I'm one of the original Souls Bandits, which is one of the original day traders. And back then, 
uh, market makers obviously were not honoring their quotes on level two. And uh, we kind of NASDAQ wanted to have a fair market. Because when you buy a stock, you had to buy from a market, a brokerage firm. When you want to sell it, you had to sell a brokerage firm. And they didn't like the idea that they pretty much uh, dictated the price of the market. So they wanted to make them more of a free market system. And they wanted guys like you to go out there and compete against them. So we were the ones that actually came out and made them come out with something called an ECN. Now, an ECN allows you to become a market maker. Um, if you go to my YouTube channel, you can see a couple of videos of me showing you some examples of what it actually looks like. That's called a direct access trade. Now, what level three is, is basically it's going to show you all the orders out there. You guys are very familiar with Instanet. Uh, it used to be called an Instanet machine. This is basically what it is. It kind of replaced it. Uh, high frequency trading. You're looking for high frequency trading, dark pools. You see them all in level three. Now, level three is going to show you all the orders that are out there. Now, if you look at the New York Stock Exchange, there's really nobody there anymore because it's all electronic. Where are those electronic orders? Right there in front of your eyes. So all it all begins with the level three quotes. Now, uh, what is your YouTube channel called? Um, Cyber Trading University. You can look up my name, Fausto Puglisi, or you can look up Cyber Trading University. Okay. And we got thousands of videos there. That will we'll show you even like our watch list that we trade in the morning, everything. So let me let me let me get right to level three and let me show you how it actually works and how we utilize it. Now, remember what I told you. Stop what you're doing. Turn the TV off. OK, don't worry about politics. Don't worry about what's trading in the market. Everything's dead right now. Focus on what I'm about to show you right now, because what you're about to see is going to make you realize that you've been trading blind since the day you did your first trade. OK, so because it all starts here, not on on a Fibonacci indicator, not on a watch list, not on a you know seeker. It all starts here. So right here, ladies and gentlemen, um, this is the buyers. This is the sellers. This is the, the bid price and this is the amount of shares that want to be bought. Same thing here. This is the bid price, uh, the, the sell price. And this is how many shares that want to be sold. So what you're looking at is you're looking at buyers, you're looking at sellers, and you're getting to see all the orders that are out there. Now, remember this. How do stocks go up and go down? Two words, supply and demand. How do you see the supply and demand? Through level three. Let's bring in a chart here. Now, does everyone here know to read a chart? Can we ask a question now? Tell me, yeah, no problem. Ask your question. What is it? No problem. And if I if I skip it because there's too many of them, the staff will be able to answer it. But I'll try to answer as best I can. Um, I only have a little, a little bit more than 20 minutes to go through another uh, 30 slides. <laughs> okay. All right. Does everybody know how to read a chart in the meantime? Everybody know how to read a chart? Okay, good. It's, you know what? It's like the first thing that people ask. Yes, Philip, level three is the matrix. Okay. Actually, it's even better. You know, it's just, uh, we call it level three, the trade station call it the matrix. Okay, so let me show you, um, by the way, just to let you know, like I just mentioned, that was the last thing I was taught how to trade, to, uh, to look at. So you see how AMD had a, like, it, it went down and it stopped at 18, it went up to like 1830, 18, 1830, 18, 1830, 18, and then boom, it says, you know what? It's obviously not breaking 18. And then went from 18 all the way to 1890 in a matter of an hour. Okay. Why did this stock not go below 18? Can anybody answer that? Why, why? I mean, it kept testing it for about 30 minutes. It did not want to break 18. What was the reason for it? Can anybody answer that? Why, why does the stock not break support levels? What makes support levels? Can anybody answer that? No, not a supply. It's a demand. It's a demand. Supply is resistance. You know, you know, uh, buyers bids are a demand. So when you look at the level three quote right here, do you notice right around eighteen dollars? There's a sixty-one thousand share buyer. That's right, Rick. You got it right there. There's a sixty-one thousand share buyer out there at eighteen. Okay. That's what made the support level. 
It was that big, the big buyer out there. And that is what makes support levels. Same thing going here. Stock goes from 1980 all the way up to about 2050 in a matter of like, you know, nice 15 minutes. Think about it. You buy a stock at 1980, right? And you're like, oh, I'm on the right side. I'm making money. I'm making money. And then all of a sudden you're like, oh, my God, where did it all go? Why is it going down? What, how did I not know it was going lower? Well, what, was, what would prevent a stock from going higher? Can anybody answer that? What will stop it? Resistance, right? What makes a resistance, ladies and gentlemen, on a chart? What makes a resistance? Sellers. How do we find the sellers? We pop over here on level three. And if you notice here on level three, there's a 100,000 share seller sitting selling at $20.50. How much money is 100,000 shares at $20.50? That's $2 million worth of stock. How many of you guys are trading $20 million? Okay. I mean, I mean $2 million in one trade. Now, if you did, you probably wouldn't be here. Okay. But there is somebody out there doing that. And then you sit there and you wonder, how did I not know that? Because here you had a nice winner. You could have made yourself a nice, you know, 500 bucks. And then now you're down, you're back to break even because of that, 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 you didn't see that. Well, listen, John, we'll, we'll get to that. We'll get to that and we'll show, we'll, and I'll show it to you. Um, There's just two Johns actually here. And it, does it happen to you guys all the time? It happens to everybody. So what I'm showing you is just, and, and listen, this is a screenshot. And by the way, I, I promised all of you, I am going to prove this all to you live in the market. Okay. But I don't want to waste your time. Because some people still not don't really understand what trading is. So I'm just here to kind of explain what is day trading, why people fail, because they don't have the right tools and they're not looking at the right data. They want something else to tell them where the stock is going. They don't realize that there is something. See, they're always looking what's happened in the past. They don't know how to read the future. And what I'm showing you is how to predict the future, not hoping what happened in the past is going to be indicative of the future. Um, Francis, so why uh, why does the big companies look for a higher price to buy? Fran, we didn't get to that yet. That's a great question, which is another question people always ask me. How do we know these are real orders and not fake orders? And I'm like, oh, no problem. You think it's fake? Tomorrow when you come into my trading room, I'll find one of these orders and we'll, we'll use your account. We'll try to execute one. We'll see what happens. Okay. Uh, I don't understand the 2050 price uh, did not reach so that amount or did see it happen. Well, there's a, there's also an explanation when it comes to that too. But it did you know that the way it did is it kind of just right below it it hit and came right back down. Now let's look at this example right here. Very simple question, right to the point. Do you think the stock's going up or going down? Uh, what do you guys think is going up and going down? Meanwhile, TJ has a question. What do you think of order flow charting software like P G P TJ? Once again, why are you trying to find another crystal ball? Okay. I listen, I know how it works and it, it will work, but there is this thing called cruise control. All right. And if your son comes up to you and says, Hey dad, I got my driver's license. Okay. So I'm going to teach you how to drive. Oh no, no, no. no. I just going to use cruise, cruise, cruise control. I mean, oh, no, no, I don't need to do it. The car drives itself. Are you going to trust your son who never drove a car before just because it has cruise control and or because it's got a Thomas driving to it? No. OK, you got to learn how to trade first before you go out there and start using all these bells and whistles. You got my point? See, everybody doesn't, you know, you want to have want to have a want to have a, want to know something fun. The problem with today's society Ask today's millennial if they know how to change a tire. Ask them, do you know how to change a tire? Well, and like, or ask them, do you know how an engine works? What, what, then you know what they're What do I need to? What do I need to know? I call, I call AAA. Really? 
Let me know how that works for you when you're stuck in a ski slope, you know, in, in, in the mountains. You, you, you know, at the end of the day, not that you're going to force them to do it. You got to still understand the fundamentals of the market. And then you'll know why somebody's pushing you to buy this or buy that. I'm not here to push anything. I'm here to teach you how to play the game. And J John says, yeah, they have no idea. <laughs> Isn't that sad? Isn't that terrible? Anyway, let's get right back to our point here. Okay. Is the stock going down? Listen, it's common sense. The stock is going down. All right. The trend is down. Now, this is the next question that we want to ask everyone. When is it going to go back up? What do we need for the stock? Because the stock ain't going 18 to zero. I mean, it could happen, but it's going to stop somewhere. What do we need for the stock to go up? Phil says, and also ask him, what is attire? <laughs> I knew I was getting everybody to get everybody to joke. You know, that's going to be the new joke right now. You should have fun after this webinar. You should go out there and tell, ask your little nieces and nephews about that. And you'd be shocked. It's scary. Um, but anyway, let's get, let, let's hopefully, uh, let's, let's listen. That's what trading, trading is no different though. You know, I don't want to be a, a, you know, learn, no one here should be a hypocrite, but some of us are, are we act the same way. We, we want to take shortcuts. There's no shortcut when it comes to trading. These are the facts, okay? So exactly what a lot of you just said. We need a demand. We need buyers. Do you see a buyers on a chart? Do you see demand on a chart? No. You know what we need? We, we need a guy that wants to buy. What happens when you have a 129,000 share buyer sitting at $18? What listen, you got buyers, you got one share, one stinking share looking at your board at 18, 12, 21, 27 shares. Woohoo! 2400. Wow, that's a little bit more than one thousand, hundred and twenty nine thousand shares. A guy sitting there looking to buy at eighteen dollars. What do you think is gonna happen? Listen, you don't need to be a rocket scientist to figure that one out, right? Look what happened when the stock hit went from eight from 1950 down to $18, all the way down here in pre-market. Went from 1850 to $18, all the way to 1950. Got close to $18, never got it, and sure enough, it went all the way to 21. How did the hell did he go from 18 to 21? How did you not see that? Well, did you ever thought about that guy's got a limit order out there and he's trying to work an order, and then all of a sudden he might be like, you know what? Nobody's selling it to me. And my client wants me to buy this stock, and I better get it before it starts running up. So maybe he was the guy who ran the stock up. And the only way he could do that is execute all the sellers, the buyer, uh, the sellers on the offer. But you could have jumped the line just by knowing you knew he was out there in the first place. Um, Michael says, when you see that order at 18, what do you do? Um, I don't know, Michael. What, what would you do? How do stocks go up and down, Michael? Supply and demand. What do you call when you have a, a, a big demand at, at 129,000 shares sitting at 18? Uh, it's probably going to go up. So I, I don't think you would want to short it. <laughs> I, guess I can tell you that right now. Can a market make a game level three like use uh, with a old level two? Clary, we, uh, Claire, we didn't get to that yet. OK, that is a great, great question. And that's usually now what people are starting to kind of realize. Oh, I heard about this. I heard they're fake orders. Don't believe. Listen, let me just tell you something right now. I'm teaching you exact. I'm talking about how the market works. I didn't even teach you how to trade. OK, I'm just teaching you how the market works. If you think you're in a business where there's a bunch of cheaters and liars and thieves, what the hell are you doing in this business? Right. So, listen, there are thieves cheaters, liars, you know, SOBs in every business, okay? You have friends of you trying to steal your job, okay? But you just know how to survive. You just got to know how to play the game. And it's scary how many people don't know how to play the game. So before you start thinking about, you know, oh, this one's playing the game, you just got to know how to play the game. You just got to know how to play the game, which a lot of you don't know how to do. Well, thank you very much, Jim. So let's do the opposite, right? Let's get rid of the chart. All right. Let's look at, let's just look at the level three. Okay. So where is resistance levels in AMAT? This is AMAT we're looking at, the stock AMAT, which we're all very familiar. Where would you think resistance levels would be in AMAT? 
where would you think looking at the level three quotes? Well, a resistance would be on the sell side because they're going to seller is going to make resistance. If you don't know the answer, just give me a question mark. 40, 40, 40, 40, 40. Now, listen, guys, listen to me carefully. When you open up an execution system, I was just talking to someone the other day. He goes, oh, I have six monitors. I'm like, how the hell do you have six monitors? Oh, I can't fit everything on one screen. We're looking at one window, one little stinking window, right? That's how we teach you at Cybertrain University. We start from one window and, and we connect the dots. And then you know why this one does that and why this goes to that. One window. You all are right. There's a 138,000 share seller out there. What does the chart look like it's doing? Let's put it in this perspective. What, is this, what does the chart look like it's doing? Is the stock going up or going down? What do you think? Up or down? Up, right? Hell, this thing looked like it's probably going to go maybe $40, $50 the way it's trending up. Look at that chart. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. Hell, if I bet I threw a couple of indicators in there, it might even look like it might even, you know, you want to probably you know, mortgage the house. But what about that 138,000 share seller out there sitting there? You don't see that on the chart, right? Well, guess what? Look what happened after we saw that beautiful run up in that stock. Now it's at 39.53 and you're like sitting there trying to figure out what the hell am I missing? That's not what, you know, Mr. Bollinger told me. That's not my RSI didn't tell me that. I don't understand. It looked beautiful. I mean, the chart was looked great. Who the hell stopped it from going higher? That was a wake up call. That was a wake up call when I got into trading. And I'm like, first of all, I was like, who in the hell would be that dumb not having this data? And I'm like, oh, yeah, me. And the only reason why is because I didn't want to, when I started, I didn't want to you know, split profits and pay $2,000 a month for software. And my trader was like, my market, my, my, my mentor was like, Fausto, you want to make a quarter million dollars a year? Hey, you're going to have to do some sacrifices. Okay. You don't got to go back to college and pay $70,000 a year and do it. But you want to make money? You got to be able to do it. Francis, oh my God. So think about it. Before you came here, how many of you guys knew that trading was as simple as this? I didn't really teach you anything. Okay. See, everybody's like, Fausto, what's moving today? What are you watching? Oh, I saw your YouTube channel. You had this stock that went up MBOT. It went 300%. How did, why, why, I thought it was only going to go up 5%. How did you know it was going to go that high? Listen, it's who you surround yourself with. Who really trained you? And this is what I want to do. I want to invite all of you guys to see this live in the market. And I can't show you in an hour. I am just showing you just enough to get you to, to make you realize so you could sample it and come in the trading room, see why we've been in business for 25 years, see why we teach for more brokerage firms than any school in the industry, which, by the way, you think a brokerage firm is going to want to endorse Cybertrain University, knowing that that they could put a be a, a big liability. TJ, once again. Next question, people ask me, so how much is it? Who cares? If it's five dollars or fifty thousand, you want you want to make a nice figure six figure salary? Don't worry, it's not going to cost you anything right now, TJ. Because remember one thing: you do it right or you don't do it at all. Okay, that's where it comes down to. And you know where it starts with education. Let's edu I just educate you just enough to be dangerous. Because when I'm done with you, you know what my ultimate goal is? My ultimate goal is that as much as a lot of you want to trade, unfortunately, it's not for everybody. And I can't tell you how many people come into our trading room like, you know, Fausto, you saved my life. I just realized it's not for me. And that, you know what? That's okay. And there's some people like, oh my God, I've been trying to find you for years. I spent thousands taking this guy's class and lost so much money. And then, you know what? That's okay too. You know, we'll get there. You know, just got to be patient. Listen, I could give you one guarantee, guys. 
stock market is not going out of business. So, and realistically, nothing really has changed since I started till today, other than things did get a lot cheaper and technology got more convenient. Okay. But do it right the first time and let me prove it to you. So anyway, let me just kind of, uh, we're, we're how much time we got? Shoot, we're running out of time here. So I know some of you guys got to go. I have to go too. So let me get through this pretty quickly uh, and go over just a couple of more things. But I'm, I'm just having so much fun here. You realize time's flying when you, you know uh, when you're having fun. So we call these things iceberg orders. Okay, what is an iceberg order? You know, everybody looks what's on top of the water. No one realizes what's on the bottom of the water. And we all know what happens if you hit it, hit it, you know, hit a hit an iceberg. It didn't work too well for the Titanic. That's where I kind of came up with the word, an iceberg. So we're looking for big iceberg orders. That's pretty much what we're looking for. Now, the next question is, when I buy a stock, where does my order go? Okay, who am I buying? Where to go? Well, for some of us, we're out there and we're trying to figure it out. How do we know that's a real seller? How do we know he didn't cancel his order? How do we know he got executed? Well, you ever heard of something called time and sales? I bet a lot of you guys neglect this. These are actually the confirmations of transactions that take place. And not only that, but when you color coordinate them, color coordinate them you could kind of get a sense of direction where the market's going. So when you saw that big 100,000 share order out there and wanted to know if he really was selling it or he canceled, the time in sales is going to see, show you get executed. How many times do you guys see an order and like, this is definitely a support level? And then all of a sudden it breaks it. You're like, how the hell that happen? Well, did you see everybody was kept hitting the bid and seeing all those transactions going on the bid? The only problem that I have with time and sales that people find is that they think, they think it moves too fast. Well, maybe because you didn't have your time and sales set up correctly. Maybe you're looking at a fast-moving stock that you shouldn't even be in. And that's why you're probably neglecting it. It's actually, I don't know if you know this, but a chart gets his data from time and sales. So... Imagine how much faster and smarter decisions you can make just following time and sales than watching some lagger chart. So looking at this example right here, seeing green, 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 green. What does green mean? That means that there are transactions going off on the ask. Why would anybody buy a stock from a seller? Oh, because it's going up just like this. CRON at an all time high. You know, look. Instructors out there, Phil made 52 cents. Uh, Jerry made 55 cents. Look, green, green, green. Look, at it. there's the times. See how well they're doing. How did they know it was going up? Well, the people keep buying it. Listen, we're, we're just the crumbs on the floor. I tell everybody, we're just the ants. We're just trying to get the crumbs. We're trying to make the 200, 500 a day. There are people moving thousands, hundreds of thousands of shares. Don't question them. Like this stock. How many of you guys are like, oh, I hope it goes up. I hope it goes up. Well, listen, everybody's selling it. You could hope all you want. Until you see greens in this, this thing is still going down. And guess what? You could always short it when it comes down to it. Just like our traders did it. Now, the next thing people always ask is, you know, I hear something about dark pools. What about that? You know, is that something to worry about? Listen, if you go to Investopedia, Dark pools are not available for the trading public, okay, so, which means it's the least of your problems. You can still see a dark pool happen in time and sales, but for to see that one order of 400,000 shares that goes off is very, very rare. And, you know, you know, because people always ask me, oh, I heard but things about trade dark pools. Listen, that's the least of your problems, okay? That's the least of your – if you're focusing on that, you'll never make money in trading. Um, yes, and it is a short, uh, I don't know who your name is, but it's called the greatest ever, <laughs> whatever that is. Well, congratulations to yourself. I don't know if you talk about me or yourself, but, uh, is it also shorts buying? Yes, absolutely. And let me tell you something, guys, you could make money. Actually, we make twice more going short than going long. And you know what, Rick? I hope, and that PCG on that option trade, that's great, but we were day trading, and if you were a day trader and you saw what was happening over the course of the day, then you might say, oh, maybe now PCG, you know, I like it, and then, you know, I don't want to tie up my cash, but it might be a good options trade, right? That's how you find good options. So 
we're almost done here, and I want to kind of just get right into one big mistake that a lot of people make, okay? They don't realize that day traders, we just focus on a day's pay. That's, that's really what it comes down to it. Here's a stock, you know, because we make most of our money within the first hour of the open and then the pre-market. Day traders don't trade all day. And if you really do the math, here's a stock that went from 35 to 36.20. Could you imagine in 30 minutes making 500 a day, doing that over the course of the year? What's wrong with that? But people don't look at it that way. They look like, what the hell's 50 cents? Can't make money with that. Yeah, you know what? Do that consistently. You see how great it becomes. Now, what I'm looking to do, ladies and gentlemen, is I want to invite all of you guys to come to, to Cyber Trading University's professional trading room, the original trading room that I started 25 years ago. Okay? I know there's a bunch of them around, but if you want to see what the original hot dog, the original cheesecake, the real, where it all started, the original chicken wings, where it all started, you want to know where the original trading room started? right here. I'm going to invite all of you guys to come in there, okay? And the thing is this. You'll notice something very important here. I am going to show you and you're going to see people like Ken, Fernando, Ben, John, how how we trade stocks like MN M, MGNX up 164% how it went from $20 to $32. Some people are like where did that come from? How, how did I not see that? Where did, I, where, did, where did that stock go up with? How did that go from in pre-market and from all the way? Up? I'm going to show you that. Watch them. Listen, I can't, first of all, it's illegal, illegal for me to tell you what to buy and sell. How do I know that? Because I was registered and I see schools get shut down all the time. So if you're in a school right now, the guy giving you um, recommendations, technically he's, could be, he could be arrested. Um, it, it's just, it's, it's an SEC rule. So the big thing is this, in our trading room, it's not about me. It's not about telling you what we teach you is how to think for yourself. Even if it was legal, I still, it still doesn't make you money. When you come in this room, you're going to see people just like you, how they make money. And let me tell you this. I say it all the time. If I could teach a 90 year old woman could do it, you could do it. <laughs> okay. And she's actually a pretty good trader. It's not about going out there, learning about every single thousand indicators out there. You just, because it, all it does is confuses you. You got to learn how to keep it simple. It's called the KISS method. Keep it super simple. That's our motto we go by here at Cybertrain University. So let me teach you how to make a day's pay. Because it doesn't really take that much to make it very successful. And then you'll see why Cybertrain University has been endorsed by more brokerage firms than any school in the industry. And let me tell you something, ladies and gentlemen, they have a lot to lose because why would they endorse somebody if they know that their traders are not making money? So let us be your mentor. Let me show you how to trade. Let me show you how to play the game. And this is what we, and then you'll see how you could spend more time with your family, do the things you always want to do in life, you know, and how to make money for yourself and how to and, and how to enjoy, you know, a career that you always wanted to do. So to get into our trading room, this is what I'm going to do. I'm asking for nine dollars. That's it. Nine bucks. Why nine dollars? Nine dollars is going to tell me that you're a real person. The nine. Listen, I know everybody here wants to be in my trading room, but you know what? Unfortunately, we get. You know, some um, bloggers, some people that uh, try to steal our ideas, um, steal our clients, unfortunately. I mean, it happens in anything. So this is, think of it as, a, as an entry fee. And the $9 is this what you're going to get, okay? You're going to get the Cyber Group Trading Room for a week. You're going to get three daily market meetings. You're going to get a morning and afternoon watch list. You can get your own personal education advisor. People are just shocked with that. They say, oh, my God, somebody actually called me? I thought this was a joke. I thought it was just like uh, there was like every other company out there. No, listen, we take this very, very seriously, okay? Because at the end of the day, if you're going to be one of our traders, you know, we want to make sure that you're qualified to be part of it. But we need to make sure, you know, um, we know who you are and, 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 and why you're doing this. And not only that, 
you're going to get live Q&A answers, and then you're going to see live level three quotes and time and sales going over the course of the week. Now, as a bonus, by the way, at seven days, let me just tell you this too. You don't like it? I'll just give you $7 back, I mean $9. I don't need the nine bucks. Trust me. The $9 is just to prove to me that you're a real person. That's it. That's all we're looking for. And if you're not satisfied, you, you don't have to dispute the credit card charge. Just say, you know what? It's not for me. Could you give me a refund? Just send me an email. I'll give it to you. I don't need it. Trust me. Now, as a bonus, this is what I'm going to do. The first 20 people that register right now, I will actually personally give you a coaching class. Now, why would I do that? Is because I am looking for traders that I could teach that I can make money with. That's basically what it comes down to. I'm looking for traders that will actually learn that want to do this as a, as a living. Because the way I make my money is that if I could teach you to be a good trader, you're going to make great call outs in the room. But to do that, you first have to, you know, you got to go through the initiation to see if trading's for you. All this for $9. What do you have to lose? I know we have some Forex traders, options, swing traders, and some people are like, oh, you don't want to day trade. You know what? Fine. Listen, you make your own decision. You ever hear of fake news? Okay. Well, you know what? Sometimes it's real. Sometimes it's fake. You know who's going to believe it? Only yourself. Prove it to yourself. Take the $9, try it out, and then go from there. Now, in the meantime, I just want to do a couple of shout outs. Um, a couple of people just registered first. Uh, I'd like to thank uh, Nancy from Los Angeles. Got your registration. First one here. Congratulations. Mike from um, Wisconsin. Got your registration. Bill, welcome aboard. Bill from uh, what was that, Ontario, Canada. Just got your registration. Uh, a couple of questions. Um, so why not pay you nine bucks for what? The nine dollars, Phil, is you're paying to get access to the trading room for a week. And then what's going to happen is you're going to have that. You're going to see pre-market trading, aftermarket. The nine dollars just proves to us who you are and, and you're a real person. And and obviously I'm not. We're not wasting our time with somebody that you know is just basically stealing our ideas. If you don't mind. Um. No problem, Jim. Listen. Another thing is this: when you register, I probably recommend you start on a Monday. You don't have to start tomorrow. Um. A lot of us pretty much usually start right. You know, the following week, and then usually by Tuesday, Wednesday. Thursday, we'll probably talk on the phone. Um, Alu says, please, what kind of good brokers are out there? Well, listen, we actually showcase TradeStation in our trading room, um, but we're brokerage firm neutral. But you know what? Don't worry about a brokerage firm account. Why? Listen, to, you, know what, you know what a pain in the butt is to open up a brokerage account? Why don't you just take, you know what, but you know what's going to take you to put up $9 to open up a, a trial and go for, do that, and then you'll see why things are better than others. Okay. So let's not worry about that. All right. A couple of people just want to do a couple of shout outs. Um, KCM from Calgary, Alberta. Just got your registration. By the way, if you're from Canada, um, I've been going to Canada for about almost 15, 16 years now. We have, I must say about 20% of traders in the room are from Canada. Uh, and let me say, you're going to make a lot of good friends and you're going to see, I know, I know the whole Canada market. A lot of people like to trade the U S market because you got more, it's more liquidity than your Toronto. Uh, Thomas K from uh, North Carolina. Welcome up team. Just got your registration. Scott W Oxford. Just got your registration. Uh, Jenny B from Alberta. Just got your registration. Welcome to the team. We're almost done with that 20. I'm actually just reading it off my phone. If you guys could see that, it's a little bit faster than showing you that. Can't read, you know, than reading on my website. Uh, Ricardo, a, hey, we just got your registration from New Jersey. Welcome aboard. Um, any couple of questions here? Uh, Talib, sometime you see the trade outside the bid and ask. Does it mean anything? Uh, Talib, you know what? Yes, it does. It actually, it's a big concern. And you know what? That's actually one of the things that we look for. We focus on. Um, you know, when we're in the trading room. So you're going to see a lot of that. Uh, Pinko, do you have an app or an indicator in the TradeStation app store? Actually, Pinko, yes. I'm actually going to be putting, we don't use indicators. Day traders don't use indicators. But what I am going to do is I'm going to put my layout, a day trading layout on the TradeStation platform on theirs. But you can also get it on our website. If you register for the $9, uh, send us an email and I'll even give it to you. It'll be a little bit easier instead of waiting for that. Okay. 
Uh, what else we got? Just going to go do a couple more shout outs here. We're almost done with the 20. Karia from K from Honolulu, Hawaii. All right. Welcome. Wow. Big time zone difference. Margaret M from uh, West Hampton, New York. Not too far from our office. Beautiful. All right. Any other questions, ladies and gentlemen? Any other questions? Guys, remember, the whole point about, I mean, everybody wants to trade. Everybody likes to trade. I talked about in the beginning why people fail, why people succeed. And you know what? Just looking what's going on, people are logging out, you know, and it's great. And I'm glad that some of you realize, see, trading's not for everybody, you know. And, you know, you, you see a lot of pr presentations out there. You should listen to a little bit of everyone, but let me tell you, trading, you got, you got to have not one, but maybe several mentors. And sometimes you took training with someone and you realize, oh, you know, I, 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 I thought I liked it, but I lost listen to this guy and I wasn't really impressed. And that's why I don't like it. You know what? Keep listening to other people. Sometimes it takes some time before you find the right person that fits your personality. But let me tell you, trading is the greatest job in the world. Like I said, how many of you guys are out there that are about to retire? 70% of the traders in our room are between the age of 55 and 90. Then I want to give it to a mutual fund to do for them. You know, it's, it's, you know, they want to be able to do it on their own. And you know what? It's just so much fun. It really is. And it's great. It pays a great salary. Uh, uh, for 10 million shares per day. Is this uh, common? Talib, once again, you got some great questions. And I'll be honest with you, did you register for the $9 yet? Because I didn't see your name come across the board yet. You know, sitting there and, you know, you got some, you type faster than registering. You want me to answer that question? Give me a week. All right. Give me a week. After the first week, if you want to move forward, it's $149 a month. And if you don't want it, don't pay for it. Just send me an email and you won't charge you for it. Uh. Clara says, Fausta equals a winner mindset. Well, Claire, you know what? I, I, you got to have a winning mindset. You know, even when you lose, you're not even upset about it. You're like, all right, whatever. It happened, happened. It's part of the game. You're going to lose in trading. You know, it's part of the game. You learn from losing. That's what it's all about. What about the medical cannabis stocks? Well, listen, there's a lot of we, – we trade a lot of uh, – if you're talking about, you know, uh, medical stocks, we trade them all day long. Actually, one of them was a great short today. That was the one that got crushed 75%, but it had a really nice bounce on it. Okay. All right, guys, I got about another couple of more minutes, and let me just read off. Uh, I think we're almost done with that 20. By the way, if you're didn't, if you if, if you not the lucky 21, the lucky 20, uh, don't worry about it because we'll, you'll still be able to talk to an education advisor, uh, still talk to one of my instructors. Let me see what I got here. Francis, Francella from Florida, Wilmington, Florida, just got your registration. I'll, I, I'm sorry, I'm going to mangle this one. Aladako from S Siberia. <laughs> All right, welcome. That's great. You know, we got people from Australia that are in here, uh, Singapore, Germany, London, Canada, all over the U.S., so uh, Hawaii, which some of you registered, that's what that's, you know, believe it or not, Cyber Tree University pioneered the webinar technology 20 years ago. I used to travel all over the place and uh, I hate living in a suitcase. It was fun within the first year. But when you, you know, I've been married for 20, oh, 20 years now. I got three wonderful boys my wife gave me and uh, got to a point where I just want to spend more time with them. You know, and if you know what I mean, a lot of you probably been there, done that. And uh that's how I started the webinar technology, you know, and, you know, you could see I, I, I came out there. My father always taught me, he says, son, you know, my, my parents were immigrants. Uh, they came from Italy, uh, had nothing or nothing. They immigrated here. They never asked for anything. My dad worked six, six days a week. My mom worked six day, five days a week. And they always told me, my father said, son, you know, I know I didn't spend as much time as I would like with you. But when you get up, my job is so you can make more money than me. Get a job that gives you the freedom, the 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 uh, the freedom to spend more time with your family, and obviously it's going to pay you a good salary. And uh, that's how I found trading. So you could read that in my book. All right. Uh, any platform with TradeStation broker is it okay? TradeStation, like I said, is a great direct access firm. We showcase it in our trading room. You're going to love it. All right. All right, guys. I'm going to be going. Uh, let me just read off a couple of more people that are here that just registered. 
I um that's the one percent here we go. Let's welcome Jack Lynch from uh, Morristown, New Jersey. Just got your registration. Somebody came as a specific, uh, this, um, specific, <laughs> uh, a, a bad email, a bad uh, credit card. Somebody see, that's what I'm saying. So people try to put fake credit cards in there. We, we you know, you've got to know who you are. Ron, uh, Ron asked from Manhattan, Manhattan, Kansas, Manhattan in Kansas. I didn't know that. I there was only one Manhattan. <laughs> Uh, all right, guys. So listen, if you didn't register, that's OK. I get it. I get it. It's fine. Maybe you're not ready yet. Maybe within time, maybe down the road. Uh, but listen, like I told you, you, got nothing to lose spending nine bucks. If you're not happy, you get your money back. But if you didn't register, hopefully you learned a lot. Maybe down the road you will. But if you are a student at Cybertrain University uh, and you are registering, just remember, guys, we take this very seriously. When you register, there's going to be a qualifier that's going to ask you some questions because we want to know a little bit about you, who you are, and make sure trading's for you. Because remember, we're going to tell you and we're going to be straightforward with you before you start investing money. Listen, we don't I, I'm not going to force anybody to be part of CTU's family if we feel that you're not going to if it's not for you. You know, we're going to be very honest with you. I know everybody would love everyone to sell somebody something to buy training. But listen, we don't need the money. All right. I need you to become a very good trader. I'm looking for people that can contribute to the room. And uh, if you can, you can. If you can't, we'll be honest with you. Think of this as your doctor. I'm not going to force you to do surgery if you don't need it. And unfortunately, there are people out there that want to force you to do surgery so they can make money off you. And that's not what we're about. That's why we've been in business for 25 years. And that's why we've been ranked the number one school uh, as in being uh, – you know, uh, uh, endorsed by more brokerage firms than any school in the industry. So just remember that. Thank you. Um, are we the same as OTA? Uh, kinda. They're they're a franchise. We're not. You know, that makes. I think that's a big difference. Um, they're a very good school. You know, like I said, but you need to. It's nice to sample a little bit of everybody's, and you can make a choice from there. All right, Andy. Thank you very much, guys. Happy trading. Thanks, everyone, for, uh, my partners, for making this successful. Thanks for staff to you. See you all uh, in the trading room. Have a great day, everybody.